I'm Jay Bain, Executive Director of the Milwaukee Institute. The Institute is a not-for-profit research foundation dedicated to the development of high-performance computing, modeling, simulation, and visualization software in support of collaborative projects among regional, uh, commercial, educational, and governmental institutions. In our continuing effort to identify innovative scientists and engineers in the region, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce you today to Dr. Guri Sohi, Professor of Computer Science, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Guri, thank you for being here today. For nearly three decades, your research in computer architecture has contributed to an exponential growth in the capability and application of information technology. We're now entering a new era, a move to commoditize parallel computing. Can you give us some sense of the growth we can expect in the decade to come? Uh, this is going to be a wonderful decade for uh, uh, microprocessors, parallel processors, information technology, uh, and, and uh, the increasing ubiquity of uh, how microprocessor and computers are going to be used. Uh, for a long time, uh, uh, for two decades, most of us think of a microprocessor as something that goes inside your PC or whatever, or uh, your, your big uh, uh, server system. Uh, nowadays, uh, your smartphones have microprocessors in them. And going, f uh, uh, going forward, uh, you're going to uh, have newer applications that are going to demand more and more uh, computational power from microprocessors. But at the same time, the computational power of a single microprocessor is not going to increase. Single processor core is not going to increase very much. So you're going to have multiple processing cores. And there's a big challenge as to how you can have software to make use of multiple processing cores. Now, if we can make headway uh, on that problem, that was going to have a dramatic impact on how microprocessors are going to be designed because uh, a simpler microprocessor is much more power efficient than a more complex microprocessor. And a collection of simple microprocessors is, of course, more power efficient than a single more complex microprocessor. So if we can get performance by getting more parallelism, that will really accelerate the trend towards having multiple simple processors, uh, which then will have uh, a lot of uh, uh, consequences for how they are used, how your in IT operations are carried out, how uh, big uh, uh, computer servers are built, and, and the like. Now that we have uh, relatively low cost access to this next generation of high performance machines, one of the great technical challenges lies in being able to design and develop applications that can effectively take advantage of multiple cores and large memory systems. You and your research team have developed and are proposing an innovative method for generating parallel software. Can you give us an overview of that work? To set that work in context, let me uh, tell you what people have been doing for several decades. Uh, the high-end scientific computers have had parallel processes for several decades. And to write software for such a computer, you had to reason about where the parallelism is, specify the parallelism, and actually write a parallel program, which would then run on the parallel hardware. And while this approach may work for high-end scientific applications that use regular data structures, uh, it's not something that works for a large variety of problems. So we have taken sort of a very different approach and furthermore, this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, classical approach has all sorts of other problems that come along with it. So for example, uh, one of the most well-known problems is the issue of non-determinism, where the same program run with the same inputs at different times could give you different answers. And we take a very different approach. Uh, we, the approach we take is that we take the sequential program that people are very used to writing, uh, and we try and dynamically, under the hood, if you will, try, uh, uh, create a parallel execution. So our program is still sequential, but our underlying execution is parallel. Uh, and it does not have any of the uh, nasty side effects uh, or consequences of the more traditional way of writing parallel programs. 
Uh, we've tried this approach out in a variety of uh, different applications. Uh, it seems to work very nicely. Uh, I understand you are working to create a business to bring this innovative technology and tools to market. What are your objectives for this business? Yes, uh, I've been contemplating uh, about uh, starting a company to uh, commercialize this technology. And the main objective is, uh, since our technology is so different from what people have been proposing for decades, uh, we feel that uh, really the only way to really get it out to the masses is to uh, uh, show a product. Otherwise, you know, most people, you know, when you first tell them about, hey, you know, this is what we can do, they just laugh it off, say, hey, you know, this is totally different. You know, it's not what we've seen before, not what we learned about. And so uh, we could write papers, but, uh, you know, uh, people will probably ignore them and just continue with the, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing and I'm going to continue doing that. Or we could try and productize uh, this approach. And uh, then, uh, uh, you know, once we have people who can use uh, a product and feel they can actually get a benefit from that, then, uh, then others will use it. But really, sort of, uh, you know, one of our main objectives is to uh, change the way people approach this problem of uh, parallel execution of a program. Uh, Guri, as a final question, what advice can you give those of us interested in following this exciting, fast-paced, and broadly applicable area of technology? In my research group at uh, UW-Madison, we are continuing to, uh, I have a small number of students, uh, a very small number, we are continuing to try and explore the power of this approach. We are trying to see a vast variety of applications that we can try and get to execute in parallel using uh, our model where the application is still sequential as opposed to having to write a parallel application. So we will be publishing papers about it uh, uh, in due course. Uh, and at the same time, uh, if, uh, 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 if we end up uh, productizing some of this, then we will have some products available that people could then get their hands on to see how they could use our technology to write uh, programs uh, that can run in parallel on their own.